How to Cultivate Self-Love. We will cultivate self-love by talking to ourselves in the most loving way we can. And aren't we talking to ourselves all day long? Don't we say things inside our own mind to ourselves like, I lost my wallet, how stupid of me. Or maybe you tell yourself, I need to get better at this. Or maybe even, I hate you. So let's make these conversations more loving. Start out with, I want to learn how to love you. You have made the decision to start to learn to love yourself more. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video, right? So that's great. Why not put a hand on your heart right now and say to yourself, find your own words, something along the lines of, I have decided I want to love you more than I've ever done before. I don't know yet exactly how to do that, but I'm willing to learn. I want to make you feel loved. I want to make you feel happy. I care about you. The exact words don't matter. What matters is that you get the message across in a very genuine and loving way. So um, please put the video on pause right here and take your time to say this to your own heart and get back to me when your heart has received the message. And just as lovers like to tell each other often that they love each other, even so your heart loves it to receive your message of love time and time again. So keep sending that love. There is no limit to the amount of I love yous. Get creative. Love can be expressed in an infinite amount of ways and your heart will love it when you find more and more ways to express love. So here's a list of loving things you can say to yourself. And I want you to repeat after me. I love you exactly as you are. You are beautiful. You are so sweet. I want to be as sweet to you as I can. I love spending every minute of this life with you. Thank you for everything. I forgive you for everything of the past the present and the future. You are now forgiven already. My heart is open for you. My heart is your home. I love all of you. You are the best. You melt me. I am here for you. Whatever happens, whoever you will become, whatever you will do, I love you. My love for you is unconditional.
You are welcome. You are perfect the way you are. I accept you. I will love you through every hardship. I am here to see all of you. I am not afraid of your shadow side. I want to know you as deeply as possible. I embrace the dark within you. You light up my heart. Thank you. I love you. I want to tell you whatever you want to hear. I am looking for more ways to express my love to you and I am open to know your every desire so that I can give you even more love. I give you my heart. I surrender to loving you. I dedicate myself to you. I want you to feel loved always. And I will tell you I love you as many times as needed for you to feel my love every second of your life, deeply anchored in your heart. You are important to me. I will always love you. I encourage you to use these sentences as a source of inspiration to also find your own creative ways of telling yourself that you love yourself. So please take a moment right now to come up with a minimum of three other ways to express love to yourself. Put your awareness in your heart space and allow yourself to feel what it does to you when you say those things to yourself. So please pause the video here and take your time. We'll now look into three tips to find even more ways to express love to yourself. Tip one, learn from how you treat others. Many people are able to love others more than they love themselves. If you are among those people, there's an opportunity here for you to start loving yourself in the same ways. How would you treat a small child? Most of us like to treat children really well. 
we like to comfort them, we like to say hi, we like to forgive them if they are mischievous. Um, so the question is, do you treat yourself at least as sweetly as you treat a small child? How do you treat cute animals like dogs, cats and rabbits? With animals, we often like to cuddle them for no reason at all. They don't have to be or do anything else than they are. They just have to be themselves and we love them. Can you see yourself in that same way? Can you just see yourself and say, wow, you're so cute. You don't have to be anything else. And how do you treat your best friend, lover, or a loved family member. Don't you like to listen to their stories, whether they are of joy or of sorrow? Don't you like to tell them how much you appreciate them? And now the question again is, do you treat yourself the same? Do you like to listen to your own stories, whether it's a story of joy or a story of sorrow. Do you listen to yourself? Do you give yourself the attention you deserve? Do you tell yourself now and then that you appreciate yourself? Tip two, learn from how others treat you. We're going a little bit fast maybe, but there is an exercise at the end of the lesson. So scroll down for that one when you have finished uh, watching this video. And the exercise will guide you through applying this. Uh, for now, so tip two on how others treat you and how you can learn from that. I want to share a personal story, which is when I went to Maui in 2016, I had a lover there and he used to say to me often, I will always love you. And to me, at that time, that sounded a little bit ridiculous. I mean, just unbelievable, incredible, in the sense of always, but the future is a mystery. How can you say something like that? How can you know that you will always love me? You might start hating me tomorrow. But I just took it as I can learn from that because I realized I never say that to myself. It felt strange to me that this man loved me more, it seemed, in certain ways, than I loved myself. And so I just tried it out to say to myself, I will always love you. And when I started saying that to myself, it started making sense. Because if I give myself unconditional love, that is undestructible. And my love for myself seems to be growing every day. So how can there be ever a time when I'm not loving myself? And now I can easily say to myself, I will always love you. I want to share as well a personal story from Jordan. And I'll read it to you because I want to capture his precise words. Whenever I receive a compliment that I can't fully embrace, that doesn't fully resonate and feel true to me, I stop and ask myself, what is that about? Someone recently told me, I love every part of your body. My reaction was like, whoa, ah, hold up. I'm not sure I can fully receive that compliment. I asked myself, what parts of myself do I not yet love? Why don't I love these parts of myself? Can I learn to love those parts of myself? Listening to the way other people compliment you can be extremely eye-opening in regards to what is easy for you to hear and what is difficult. So besides learning from how you treat others, you can also learn from how others treat you. If others treat you in some aspect more loving than you treat you, that's a great opportunity to receive that love and learn to give it to yourself as well. Sometimes a lover might say something loving to you that you have never said to yourself. 
So take that as a gift and start practicing to say that to yourself. Another time you might notice that a friend accepts you more fully than you accept yourself. Again, take it as a gift and start to accepting yourself in that same way. And have you ever noticed how dogs are always happy to see you? Whenever they see you, they bark, they wig their tail. They're super happy to see you. What if you would greet yourself in that same way? I mean, just saying to yourself, I'm happy to see you again. Whenever you see yourself in the mirror or whenever you wake up with yourself. And last example, have you ever gotten compliments that you were unable to receive? Because they sounded outrageously flattering. Well, next time, just say thanks and let it in. If that's hard, just suspend your disbelief and let it soak for a little bit. And maybe next time you'll be able to just answer, thank you, I know. <laughs> Tip three, learn from how others love each other. And finally, we can learn from how others love each other. So if you overhear a couple saying something really sweet to each other, you can start saying that sweet thing to yourself. Or when you hear a love song on the radio, you can imagine singing those words to yourself. Hi, thank you for having watched this video. I loved having you here. Um, this video is actually part of a lesson on self-love, which is part of a course that I made on relationship skills. And you can watch this whole lesson, which is um, a longer video, like maybe 30 minutes or an hour. And um, you can watch the whole lesson for free. It's on my website. I don't need your email address or payment details or telephone number. Um, I don't need anything from you. It's just my free offer to you that you can um, take the whole lesson by going to this link. And I hope to see you there. Whatever you do, have a great day.